Hey guys, we got Bambi TV. Guys, don't react to it. Jessica. Guys, don't check it out. The simple pillar of Islam. Move to the Guys, let's get straight in this. Number one is a declaration by your mouth. As we said, there is none worthy of worship besides my maker. We call him Allah because he calls himself Allah, which refers to the worshipped one. And I bear witness that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is his messenger. The five daily prayers, the fasting in the month of Ramadan, the charities, if I'm a wealthy person, to give to poor people. And if once in my lifetime, if I can, I will go for Hajj. Do you believe that in principle? Yes, I do. Number two. Do you believe in the six pillars of faith? What are they? Amantu billahi, I believe in Allah. Wa malaikatihi, and the angels. Angels exist. Wa kutubihi, and the books, the Injil, and so on. All of the previous books that were given to the previous prophets. You believe in them in principle? Yes, I do. Wa rusulihi, and all the messengers, respectfully. We do not agree with previous scriptures that have spoken bad about any of the messengers or prophets of Allah. We believe they were honorable men, and whatever negativity is there in a disrespectful way, we deny it. Islam does not agree with it. They say Lot slept with his daughters. Astaghfirullah, we don't agree. They say Jesus had an affair. Astaghfirullah, that is blasphemous. We don't agree with this. We don't. We, they say Mary had an affair. We don't agree with that either. And so on. So in principle, even Solomon and David, they have really bad things to say about them. For us as Muslims, they were honorable. They were the best of the best and Allah chose them. He would not have chosen otherwise. If I'm an imam in the masjid and you know bad about me, it's your right. If you want to walk out, you can walk out. Why? Because I don't feel comfortable behind this person who's a thug. He's a robber. He's a cheat. He's a scum of society. I must read my salah behind him. No chance. Just like your zakah. You have your money to give a poor person, but he's a drunkard, a drug addict. You have a right to say, I don't want to give you because... It's zakah, it's wealth. I need to engage in an act of worship. I rather give someone who's going, to, who's going to pray and do good deeds so I can get a double, triple reward. There we go. So the same applies. Why would Allah send to us a messenger whom no one liked? He had bad qualities and habits. It didn't happen. So you believe in the, the messengers. وَرُسُلِهِ وَكُتُبِهِ وَرُسُلِهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ You believe in the last day, that there is a last day, and you believe there is going to be heaven and hell, and there is accountability? Yes. Do you believe that good and bad fate is from Allah? When good things happen, I must not become arrogant. When bad things happen, I must not become depressed. I must relate it to Allah. Good came to me, I become a better person. When Allah gave me so much, I must be humble and I must treat those who work for me with greater respect than I treat myself. Allahu Akbar. Then you're a mu'min. Then you're a believer. And when something bad happens, your factory burnt down, you thank Allah. Because sabr is an act of worship that Allah gives you an opportunity to engage in. You have to engage in it. At some point, you will suffer a loss. Some point, something wrong will happen in your life. Thank Allah. Oh Allah, for 40 years, you kept me so good. Today, you tested me. You took away everything. No problem. We start again. New name. Inshallah. Subhanallah. Allah loves you. Allah loves you. Why? Because Allah says, Yawmun laka, yawmun alayk. A day for you and a day against you. When it's for us, we are good. When it's against us, what happens? Allah says, we did it to test you. That's Allah. Do you believe in these principles? If the answer is yes, repeat after me. Ashhadu, ashhadu. Allah, Allah. Ilaha, ilaha. Illallah, illallah. I bear witness there is none worthy of worship besides Allah. I bear witness that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is his messenger. You are a Muslim. There is no specific ceremony. You don't need to go to an imam. You don't need to go to the public. You don't need to go to a place. You can do it yourself between you and Allah and you are a Muslim. But do not delay it. Hmm. I sure you like this, and I like the fact when he talked about the good things and bad things happening to you. I feel anytime bad things happen to me, I believe it's God actually testing me or trying to pay me back for the sin I commit. Yes, and I take it as a lesson that I'm supposed to learn, and I just. Mm. You know, the thing is, eh, but life can't always be like a bed of roses. Definitely, even people that are at the top, they do encounter bad times like it just happens it's like a part of our lives at some point in time some things will go bad but then even as things go bad you still believe that god is there because no matter what happens god is always there like yes. he's always ahead of us you get yes. even as what happened to job job had a lot and then he lost everything between cover and eye but he still didn't blame god he knew god was in control despite everything he lost and he got everything back double wow. fold so so guys, so what do you think about this video? Just to like, share, subscribe to our channel. 
We'll see you next time, guys.